Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number 43. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so we are back in Test Drive Unlimited. It's a very hot day today, uh, both in-game and in real life. So if you can hear the fan in the background, I'm very sorry for that. Um, but what we are going to be doing, I think that's going to be in for like the next few videos as well. So bear in mind with the fan. Um, but what we're going to do today is we're finishing off the final races. This is a massive championship. Full of uh, multiple length races, uh, ranging from 9.7 miles, I'm reading this off my notes, to uh, 103.6. And hopefully I'm aiming to get them all done by today. Um, and I've also got a live stream later on today as well, so I've got a busy day today. I've also got to do my Discord server, sort that out. Link in the description, come join us. Um, I keep crashing. <laughs> Um, and also got to do a load of editing as well. I got to edit these videos tonight. I'm a busy guy. Lovely. But here we go. We are 0.3 miles away from the start line of the race. Here we go. No, you're not pulling me over. Not yet. Right, but here we go. First event. 9.7 miles for one lap. Four minutes to do this. Let's do it. This is obviously quite a short one compared to um, the rest of them. But uh, that's not a problem for us. Let's go. And we're off. That was a decent start. I've also planned out what cars I'm going to be using for the series as well. So I've planned out every single car for every single race, what we're going to use. Uh, which is only six races, but it's probably going to take up six videos. Because uh, that last race is probably going to have to be split into two. Because that will take over an hour easily. Oh, very good. Careful. Perfect. That was a good start so far to this race. We also aren't going to be taking over the top speed machines either. We're taking average cars. That's time penalty though. That's going to be at least five seconds. So we need to be five seconds short. Oh, okay. That's not ideal. Try not to go off road anymore, please, McLaren. Nice. Slow down a bit here. We go off-road a very tiny bit, but not enough wheels to get penalties. Oh, sketchy. I think they're all time trials as well, except for the final one, maybe. Um, which is an actual race. Pretty sure, anyways. Oh no, I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention to that. That was lucky that we didn't get thrown off road. That was very lucky. I hope not all of these races have off road penalties. Because that will mess us up big time if they all have off road penalties. Like, big, big time, that'll mess us up. Oh, 
Uh, this car wasn't a good idea. I thought because it was a shorter race, this thing would be quicker because they would probably trick us and add more corners. But uh, apparently not. Apparently not. Not great, not great, no! Oh, that's messed us up. That's ruined our race, no! Oh, I'm not even bothering, let's restart. Straight from the beginning. I also do need to extend this video out a tiny bit, so uh, yeah, that's why we're doing it. <laughs> I can't believe we crashed like that though. Unbelievable. I saw the corner and it was too late. You would have thought though this car would be a little bit more like powerful and capable. It's less capable than the normal McLaren F1. Okay, that was a good start. Try not to go off road at any point in this. Or crash. Crashing is also not preferred. Oh, come on. That blended in so well. GG's to that truck for blending in. Use the blend tool. Try and go flat out. It's not working for us today. It's not working at all. That was the corner I think we went off at and got the tiny bit of penalty. So I think we should be safe for now then. Come on. Let's get this. Let's get this dub. Full you. Get this dub for you. Oh, no, no, no. I don't like this. This is too quick. I haven't looked at the minimap once. I'm too focused on trying to avoid traffic. There we go. That's good. That's good. I didn't actually see that corner either. Right, it is about, I think, 2 minutes 30 that the sudden corner appeared. So hopefully we don't uh, crash into that again. Nice, nice, nice. Keep an eye out for it. Okay. We got a tiny bit of off-road penalty. But that was me definitely not looking at the minimap again. We're still ahead. We're still within margins of error. I think that's about two seconds of penalty on the screen there. Could be three. Won't be any more than that though. Here's a tricky corner, here's a tricky corner. We did a wall ride, perfect. We were so close to the finish as well when we failed. Look at that, unbelievable. Nice. Coming to this very memorable section of uh, Hawaii for me. Shit, okay. Uh, that's how corners are taken now. We got a gold medal, and that was only 1.8 seconds of penalty there. So we're at 3 minutes and 40 seconds total after that. That's very good. And this is where we get loads of money now.
Your itinerary is being recalculated. Right, so we're heading to the next race now. Let's go. Right, so we are here at this event that I cannot say. Uh, this is a 25.4 mile time trial. 12 minutes, 55 seconds. Right, let's do this. We've got 270,000 on the line. Attempt number three for me as well. Last one, some dickhead of a traffic car decided, oh, it's a perfect time to turn and not use my mirrors. We're going to have to do extra caution now because there is off-road penalty. So what that means is I now have to, if there's a junction, look out for stray traffic cars turning in as well as look out for jumps, corners, traffic cars appearing out of nowhere. Ah, this is stressful. I'm going to have the world's worst headache after this. I could get myself a Guinness Book of World Records. Wait, no. No, it's a Guinness World Record, not a Guinness Book of World Records. No, that's the book of their record. We go very nice. Nice. Let's go. Nice. Very good. Awesome. Flowing through these corners very well so far. We was at about four minutes before we crashed before, so... Uh, you will see me use wall riding quite a... There you go, see? Traffic cars turning in. Um, you will see me use wall riding quite a lot in this uh, race, or any of these races from now on. Just because I want to get around those corners as quick as possible, and if I can use the wall riding to shave off a bit of time, I will do it. Awesome. It is difficult to do this and try and get gold knowing that if you push too hard, you could completely fail thanks to that doom of a meter at the top there, at the top of the screen. It's waiting for my mistakes. And as soon as I make one, it will pounce. Right here is the, when I last time had a car, that exact car there turn in. Wow. I, went, I was about to go on the inside of it as well. Can cars not just wait for a minute? We say that as we're going 190 miles an hour down the road. Ah, this is the corner as well. Okay, a very tiny smidgen of off-road penalty. But yes, that corner. You go over a jump and then it's a sudden corner. It's like, no, please don't. I was also about 3 minutes 40 by the time we hit here, so... We are well ahead of the Ford GT. Nice. Very good. Keeping it smooth and steady. Smooth and steady. funny thing is this is only the first video I'm like an hour into my recording session already because the amount of time it's taken wow probably about 45 minutes in I think but uh, this is this is stressful this is a nightmare the fact is I'm worrying that there's gonna be a stray traffic car that tries to take me out deliberately and it's just like bitch no Karen, stay back. OK, 
Okay, okay. Just about kept it. Under control. That's good. We're about a third of the way in. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. There's like a constant pressure on me right now to make sure that I do not crash. Like that. Uh, that's more penalty than I want. Okay, come on. We can do this. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Because of the speed that we've been going at, though, like on the straights, just about, we should be able to gain some, like, extra breathing room. And normally it's about. Yeah, that was your own fault. Oh, come on. It's about three seconds of breathing room per minute, I think, for gold. So we've got about 30 seconds, which should be okay. That penalty is going to be huge, by the way. That's going to be at least 15 seconds. That was not off-road. Uh, it might have been a tiny bit, actually. There is a little bit too many traffic cars in this game. Obviously, this is more realistic, probably, with the amount. But there is too many in the game. And for a game that you're supposed to be racing, and it's not a realistic game either. Kind of a bit difficult. You think Forza Horizon has less cars than this, a lot less cars. And it's built, it's based in the UK, which has like a car every 100 meters easily. Come on. Nice. We've got 12 checkpoints left to go. Nice. Oh, Jesus. I don't like this one bit. <laughs> This is stressful. This is difficult. If there was no penalty meter, I could calm down a bit. But, like, there's a massive penalty meter. We are over halfway, so... I shouldn't have to worry about getting too many more penalties. Checkpoint number 35. That means 10 more to go. Nine more to go. We've got at least 20 seconds of penalty though. Or I think. I might be wrong. It might be two minutes. Who knows? We won't know until we hit the end. Nice. 
Nice, very nice, very nice. We've actually got loads of time to spare. Look at that. Let's just hope the final checkpoint isn't like... 10 miles. Because if it is, we're done for. Oh, come on. Move out of the way. Here we go. 42. Got what? I thought that said 10 miles then. I was like, shit. I jinxed it. But no, we're fine. We're fine. We're good. Oh, I saw us going into the back of that thing. That's the finish line. No way. We did it. GG's all round, though. It was very good. Oh shit. Okay, so half of that meter was 40 seconds. Shit. Okay. That's not good. That's not good. Your itinerary is being recalculated. That's not ideal. Because that means then technically if you work out it's like 10% of the gold time. Because if that was maxed out, that would have been like a minute 20. So if you think about it, if the final race is 60 minutes, that'd be six minutes of penalty possible. Shit. Okay then. Right, so we are on to the next race of the Mega Series. I don't know what it's called. What's it actually called? It's like... Viva Grande or something like that. Grande 2. Uh, but this is the Norwester and this is actually a race. So we can now not have to worry too much about um, getting a decent time. And like time penalties and that. Um, so we do have a choice of like different difficulties. Uh, I'm going to stick with the normal just because we've done that for pretty much the entire race so far. Um, and we're going to be taking the Mercedes-Benz McLaren SLR. So let's go and do this. This is the third race. And I've got this one and then three more after that. And they're all getting longer and longer. Okay, so we are in like-for-like -like cars. We're all in SLRs. 49 uh, checkpoints, which means an average of about one mile per checkpoint. No, maybe a little bit less. 0 0.9 miles, 0 0.8, something like that per checkpoint. There's no off-road penalties as well, which is very lucky for me. Because uh, we're going to do that quite a lot, actually. Um, and this is obviously the Norwester, so I think this goes from north to the west which is along the side so I'm guessing this is quite coastal we'll probably end up driving this again but as part of the coastal dream race ah but we've got jumps and I think this is why there's no off-road penalty because uh trying to control those after landing would be impossible As a normal difficulty though, they are keeping up with us, surprisingly. It's like we're all in a uh, tier three Mercedes-Benz SLRs, but we are not. We are in a tier three and they are in just a measly tier zero. Very nice I got to drive this car again though. That I wanted to as well. It's pretty cool. I do like the SLR. Traffic cars working in my favour today as well. Not making my life an absolute nightmare. Oh, 
Whoa, careful. This is actually uh, the slowest of the A-Class cars I think that I've got. Uh, in fact, no, I think the Ford GT is the slowest. But uh, this is definitely the second slowest. And we're doing all right. We're doing okay. Oh, we got a little bit of lag going on. But uh, I think that's because the cars behind are quite far behind, actually. They're not actually being rendered in. That's how far behind they are. They're just being simulated as being there. This is very good, though. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Oh, crap. Nice. This has gone really well so far. A lot less stress when driving so I can full on floor it. Because uh, in the last one, if you did watch the uh, Pagani Zonda where I was stressing out big time. Because there was an off-road penalty for 25 miles. And uh, after that event, uh, the penalty that I had racked up was 40 seconds. And that was only halfway. A normal race, that would be like 4 seconds. So, yeah, I had my reasons to be worried. I was expecting that to be about 20 seconds, but it was double. This is really good. 211 miles an hour. 216, 218. Right, tap of the brakes. I don't want to risk it through there. Nice. going really well. I should just shut up sometimes. Genuinely shouldn't talk. I say, oh yeah, this is going really well. Crash. Bang. Wallop. Get wrecked. It's a very straight race though, so there's not many corners, um, which is a bit gutting, but... Oh! Oh! Hey, thank you. My cries got heard. We've got some corners now. Absolutely fabulous. That's a word I haven't said in years. Fabulous. Bum 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 ba dum bum 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 ba dum All right Oh, very good there. A little bit of airtime as well, getting back onto the road. Impressive. So we're not even halfway through checkpoints wise yet, but I don't think if we get halfway through checkpoint wise, we'll even be halfway through distance wise either. Or we might be actually, I don't know. Right, here we go. We got some corners. I remember this section of road. We've driven that quite a lot uh, in the clubs over the past few episodes. A lot of club stuff going on. 
Hey, this is what I like to see. 4.2 miles of just corners. And these obviously don't have any junctions or any form of way to take a shortcut. Which is why it's four miles between the checkpoints here. And that's good. That's good. That gives us a load of stuff to do. Oh, come on, game. Stop lagging. Nice. Not nice. Nice. No, no other crashes? Okay, good. Not nice. <laughs> ah, this is stupid. What's going on? There's so many, like, what are they called? Blind summits. As you go over and it's just like, yeah, you can't see the car at all until you've already hit it. That's why they say don't overtake when you see a blind summit sign, no matter what. Because it is dangerous. And it costs lives. Because you never know what's over the other side of that hill, mountain, whatever it is. You never know what's on the other side. Oh, we got some hairpins. We're going up in the world. Huh, get it? Really crappy joke incoming. The funny thing is, I probably could do this on expert and still win. But uh, it's just something I don't want to risk either. Because the AI might be better than I think. And then it'll be a waste of time. Because this is a long event. Very long event. Nice. Literally has not been an end to these roads for ages. Ba -dum -bum, ba -dum -bum, ba -dum -bum. Ah, we're off-roading. That's pretty cool. Contact has been made. Awesome. Look at the speed. There we go. We finally hit checkpoint. Oh, wait, no. Did we already hit checkpoint beforehand? I might have and just not noticed. And straight on we go. Nice. At the next intersection, turn left. We are at the um, 10 minute mark, so. And checkpoints are flowing in fairly quickly. So I have a feeling these uh, next few like test drive videos are going to be quite short, but oh well. It's all right. Gives me a little bit more breathing room if I make a couple of shorter videos. So. Awesome. Oh, not good. I tried to squeeze in between the um, truck and the thingy, and the truck was just like, nope. The truck and the lorry. And the lorry was like, no, you're not getting through. This is very good though. I love this car so much. Look how nice it looks. The one thing this game was missing was the active aero though. But uh, again, it's a PS2 game. You can't expect everything. Nice. 
Nice. Look at that. Flying through here. Oh, keep it steady. There we go. This has been a good race. Well, it hasn't really been a race. It's just been a cruise. Because we've been miles ahead. That was so close. I wonder what they're actually going to have to add to test drive to make it better. Because they can't use boats and planes because that's been done by the crew too. And it would just make it then take away from like the car and experience and that. Spun out there, that's not good. But also test drive solar crown is going to have to have some miracle like... I mean if the game was exactly the same or very similar to Test Drive Unlimited 2 just with better graphics, better new missions and stuff like that, I'd still be fine with it. Test Drive Unlimited 2 was a great game. But, at the same time, you would need quite an impressive, quite an impressive team um, behind the game to make it amazing, make it good. And obviously with it being a brand new team as well, we're just going to have to give them a chance, see, see if they can do well. We are getting close to the end of this race though, I think. Oh! All right, cool. Nice. Beep. Bing. We're going flying through here. Is this just a straight line to the finish? Oh, we're in the middle of the desert now. Lost a lot of speed there. And lost it all there. Uh, if there was off-road penalties, we would have been disqualified within the first two minutes by now. Easily. Two more checkpoints. 1.8 miles to the next one. Awesome. There we go, nice. 1.5 miles left to go. And then we will have done half of the races for this thing. Oh, okay. Okay, we're back on track. No cars anywhere to be seen. We're gonna come miles ahead. Go, go, go. Groovy. And there we go. 16 minutes, 44.744. Let's uh, have a wait and see where the other cars come. Right, so after that, we're looking at some pretty impressive times. The uh, second fastest car was around about 30 seconds slower than us. 
and the last place car was about a minute and 30 seconds slower than us. So, yeah, there's quite a substantial difference between pace uh, between the cars, but uh, that was very good. 200,000 credits for that, 50,000 master points. We've gone way above the 2 million mark for master points now, which is awesome. Very good. Your itinerary is being recalculated. That was a good race, though. That was a very good race. Why are we here, though, on the dirt? Next race is 2.1 miles away, which I think I know exactly which one that is. I think that's the 50-mile um, race. But uh, we're going to go to the 46-mile race next. 46.7 with the Jaguar XJ220. That's my plan, anyways. <laughs> I've got a plan, and we're going to go stick with it, hopefully. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. So make sure to follow us over on there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Like